loves that matchup to death. But he's opting to go Wolf. Still a pretty good matchup. He wants to outspace um, PSI guy because, you know, it's Marth with the gun. It is. And this matchup, you know, it, it's okay for Wolf. Has good advantage tools and good neutral tools, but as soon as you get put off stage, that down throw dash attack, by the way, good early option for Wolf. As soon as you do get put off stage, there's just so little you can do, and it's so easy to get caught without a jump. Starts to go for this PK Thunders. You'll see the PK Thunder 2 coming out eventually if he gets around to it. Yep. Another down throw. Out of the range of the death attack, but oh, got one with a sliding forward tilt too, and it nearly taking out the stock. Oh, nice up air to catch the jump, and missing out on the tech, and he's gonna get punished with an up air. PSI guy on the stock lead against uh, Shine. Yeah, excellent work from him. Just crouches near the ledge. Oh, Two frames him with the F tilt as well, although he will magnet that laser. Oh, missed out on that. Um, Gimp, oh, Does actually. Does not get the tech, and the stage spike will send him all the way back to the blast zone. Even stocks. Only 13% in the hole and already making it up. Yep, and now Shine actually, from coming from back, actually putting in some work now. Um, PSI guy finally getting himself some footing yet again. Oh, didn't go for a grab. Went for a uh, jump, uh, run back, pick it, uh, fire instead. Yeah, tried to read the roll in with the up smash, but oh, forward smash read. Excellent Closing out that stock fast. Shine just read PSI guy's movement patterns, and as soon as that one little twitch came in, the back air from PSI guy will come in and finish it off before any extra credit can be taken. Mm -hmm. Down throw to dash attack, not true at 0%. Of course, Spot dodges around that and gets another one. But that down throw to dash attack will connect. And why not another? Just goes to the Nair instead and misses. Oh, back throw. There's the read, but not going to work out. PSA and Shine going to punish it accordingly. Yeah, throws out the shield in time. Two All bears, though, from PSI got. Ooh, just caught without him. a jump gets rid of his recovery. There's so little you can do as a Wolf player in that situation. Once that first PSI, once that first PK Thunder comes in and there's still, you know, movement on it left, it's just not at the end of its lifespan, that might be the end of it because you will be getting hit with it again if moved properly. Uh, that was just a hell of a gimp coming in from PSI guy. And that, uh, that takes some practice to get the double tail hit. That's pretty good. That's pretty nice coming in for PSI guy. Bowser for game two. Mm-hmm. Uh, grapplers are pretty good against Ness. He doesn't have like all too great safe options against uh, Bowser. And uh, ooh, that that air dodge off stage not gonna work out. There's gonna be a get up attack if you're getting pressured by that down smash coming in from Ness. Sometimes you need to throw out that get up attack because you have invincibility on your startup. Excellent work with these bears being thrown out in sequence. Yeah. Another one just gets around the PK Thunder though. Ooh. Doesn't connect with the up air. PSI guy going in for a PK, uh, PK Thunder read on Shine, but not going to work out right there. Wants oh, to go nice for the two tilt. frame with a F tilt. Gets down tilt. It. Or the down tilt, rather. Yeah. There's the up throw into fair. 35%. Oh, went for a tomahawk jab, but accidentally jumped over. Now the back air reads the jump and calls him out. Yeah, that's going to... Oh, that didn't catch the... He accidentally let go of it a little too early. Right, of course, that is not active on the ledge. If just being charged, you do need to release it to have an active hitbox. Just like that, that up smash will carry him off the top of the blast zone. Even stocks... There's the down tilt, a forward tilt. And double up air, gonna take it out. Yeah, Shine up 2-1 on PSI guy. At the first sign of trouble, just throws out his most consistent option. Gets him with the up smash as well. Armor throwing the jab too. Good spot dodge though, and the up out of shield will send him to the other side, the left now. Yeah, Ferris coming in for Shine. He wants to, he wants to kind of outrange PSI guy as, for as much as possible. Oh, there's a jab lock. Oh, but he messed it up. He accidentally hit him with the third jab. And now the up tilt. Another up tilt will send him almost all the way to the top. Just caught in the PK fire and will protect his get back. 
Oh, jabs coming in from PSI guy, just holding A. But that 133%, there's so little he can do. And there's the up air, that's gonna close out that stock. Game number two going to Shine. Excellent work from Shine. Just a character switch, exactly what he needed. We have seen Shine be willing to switch characters even after games that he's won. So if the counter pick isn't favorable, if the stage counter pick isn't favorable, we're going back to PS2, so it isn't exactly unfavorable, but you know, might be willing to switch characters anyway. Because we do see him hovering over a different we might be seeing ZSS, it looks like. Yeah. We do. Yeah. PSI guy does have matchup practice with uh, Zero Suit Samus from some of his matches with Jump Steady. So we'll have to see how he applies it here. Yeah, but uh, Shine's, Shine's ZSS and Jump Steady's ZSS are... They're two different pieces. They are exactly different. They are, they are nothing alike. <laughs> Shine will be a lot more aggressive with this character than Jump Steady will. Certainly. Which, not saying either of those uh, playstyles are better than the other, because that's just a mat uh, that's just a matter of preference. But it, it's going to be hard to adjust. PSI guy has to be careful not to just get caught in these stun moves. Fourth throw coming in from Shine. He wants to get this gimp ASAP. Ooh, he went for it all. Oh, that's... That fair is going to Kim Shine back. Yeah, just gets pineappled under the stage after the trade and had nowhere to go but to that roof. Mm -hmm. Bear coming in, catching that. Ooh, went for it all, but wow, he missed out on that up B. That's unfortunate for Shine. And that flip kick just not going to vary. That's so unfortunate for Shine. Nah, it's um, if you throw out a move and you're if it only buries if you're in an idle animation. Oh, that up smash coming in from PSI guy is going to close out that stock quick. Just, just going to walk away, just tiptoeing. And those size twos did not have the legend invincibility to survive there. Yeah. Oh, there's the bear going to counteract the PSI magnet. Nice recovery coming in from PSI guy. Shine still having issues closing out this stock. PSI guy kind of covering the neutral getup and the roll in. He wanted the PK Thunder too, but goes for the PK Flash instead to just cover himself. Back throw, not quite at high enough percents, but the PK Flash just released too early. Mm -hmm. Could we be seeing another three stock on stream? The PK Flash not quite, but oh. the back air will do it. No. Well oh, spaced, yeah, good call out on the jump from PSI guy and a three stock on Sheen 8, not he is PR, but you wouldn't have known it from that game. Such, such good reads, especially as that game dwindled down. Mm-hmm. Shine having a really hard time closing out the stock against uh, PSI guy in that game three. And just goes immediately to Ike. Mm-hmm. This is his comfort pick for this matchup. Of course, that nair and up air so many of these long disjoints will be enough to you know, deal with Ness if you can have any semblance of his movement locked down. But two oh, fares in a row. But he's off stage. Do not want to be there in this matchup. Oh man, PSI guy putting in work, still hitting him. 93% unanswered. Just finally gets a bit tacked on with a get up attack, but the rapid jab won't even begin to make up this deficit. Oh, missed out on that fair, accidentally full hopping. Another landing fair this time, the up air and the PK Thunder will protect against one of the most linear recoveries in the game, but not on that occasion. Nair to fair, getting him off stage. Oh, missed out on that bear. Returns to save for the fair. Another oh man, still. Air will send him back off though. Trying to find a way to get that recovery. F-Tilt's out of the way, well spaced, and oh. the back air will seal it out for Shine. Excellent, excellent work. A lot better than that game three. Up B's out of shielding. Your safety <laughs> goes back to ledge, but there's no safety against that yo-yo. <laughs> Questionable decision coming up for Shine. PSI guy was like, what are you doing? I'm gonna, I'll just up smash, I'm, I'm over this stock. I'll do that all day if necessary. Oh, forward tilt coming in. 
Oh, no, he missed out on it. Oh, that's the wrong way. He recovered the wrong way. This is not looking good for Shine. Yeah, Shine did so well to just edge guard PSI guy that he got him off stage without a jump and just made a simple and, you know, quietly overlooked error. But there's nothing quiet about the loss of a stock. Another Nair. Mm-hmm. Fair coming in. Oh my gosh, PSI guy putting in work. All this damage. All buttons after buttons, but the Nerta up, up air gonna gonna take out that stock. Good confirm coming in from Machine, but he still has a 92% deficit, and that P uh, PK Thunder He's not gonna there. get punished. Yeah, dash attacks into the shield, and now this is where Shine can start to get things going. If, if he, can he can manage to land a single hit, the fair will get him off stage. The PK Thunder will gimp the recovery. Oh, no, and he, he doesn't got get him. the spike. He got doesn't him. get the tech and gets the stage spike and said PSI guy takes out Shine. He'll have to settle for fourth place at a stacked hat, and Vladin already back looking to defend himself. Just gives a double fist pump. Quality, quality performance from PSI Guy. PSI Guy taking the win over Shine. <laughs> and uh, it'd be like that sometimes. We're in Losers Finals. PSI Guy versus Vladin.